Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some projects that I made using the Over the Rainbow collection from Doodlebug. And all of the supplies that I've that I've used is from 3craftchicks.com. Coupon code is right there, Christian10. So this one is a chunky traveler's notebook. Um, my traditional traveler's notebook don't have this specific part. And then this one I, I used some beads that I have in my stash and this one says travel often so this is what it looks like this is using a KS Crafts kite die super cute sorry and then of course doilies from Doodlebug and the flowers are from and the butterfly is from the hello again collection <clears throat> super cute nothing major and then this one is this one is supposed to have pockets but I feel like that could be photos and then this one is another pocket if you want to add like create your own more pictures tags travelers notebooks some more inserts this one is we have three signatures I haven't decorated it because I ran out of odds and ends or I put my odds and ends somewhere and I don't know where it is but there's three notebooks right there and then this one is exactly the same I don't have any more <clears throat> um like six by six or anything so this is I think this is the maximum I could go with a collection so that's that and then this one is new this is the chunky um traveler's notebook um that is three by six so this one um, I use a new technique so again with the beads on the spine and some charms and then the chunkiness of the album and then you know you can see that the pocket expands exponentially and that goes for both sides I have some uh, signatures right here in this case there's four signatures right there this is another one and at this point when I was creating this I was running out of supplies but that's okay um, again I, I don't know where my odds and ends went so I just made do with what I had which is like the cut aparts so that's that for travelers notebooks so there we have two travelers notebooks from this collection Next, um, some baskets. I made some baskets. Let me see. Okay. I made some baskets. Actually, two baskets and a jelly bag. So I made this basket. You know, regular, regular basket. But I feel like it's super cute what it looks like. And then the pocket. And then I used some icon stickers to kind of decorate it a little bit. And the chit chat super cute with the ensembling again and then this other basket i'm using these to store my craft supplies in front of me and then i added this charm that i got from timu and this is where i am holding my elastic and the additional sprinkles and of course the doilies from doodlebug super cute and this one is stitched. I love, love, love the doodle pop right here. It looks like, um, like a cute neighborhood for this gnome. So that's that. And then this one was the first thing I made actually from this collection. Oh, there's like cut up parts left right here. I need to put that away. Okay. So this one is using a rainbow die from Chaos Crafts. And then you can make it into a taco or a watermelon. It's up to you. This is a pocket right here. Um, and <clears throat> as you can see, it's storing my <laughs> tape, washi tape, and my undo glue. Undo remover right there it's just so pretty to see them on your table i know it makes my table super tight but it's okay i think it's very very pretty 
another thing that I made using a 6 by 12 piece of paper is this milk carton. I do have a live creating this with soap. So super cute, super fun. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clothespin on here. I, I'm just trying to find my odds and ends because I don't, I can't find it. So it's hard to decorate. So like that. And then another thing that I made is this jelly bag. And I used, I made black. And this is a KS Crafts die right here. A jelly bag. And then I decorated with some tags. And again, the doodle pop. It's just so cute. And then the dangle is right here. And then it stores these um, trim. I don't know what they're called. And then this one is an, a super tiny notebook. Right there. And then it has signatures on them. Maybe I'll use some the, the extra paper that I have. To, to create cover for these babies. <clears throat> right there. Oops. That's slippery. And then another thing. And the last, th last two that I made. This one are like mini albums with storage. So this one I made with Rachel. I We had a live with Rachel. And this is what we made. So essentially it stores four itty bitty like mini 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 albums and then the pocket is supposed to store all your supplies to kind of decorate so i've stitched some of the tags so it's going to be there some cute paper paper clips from the collection this one is front and back i like the front and back because you can use it both sides Look how cute is this. This, I use again a doodle pop. So, so cute with just some scrap pieces of paper. So that's that. And then let me show you the... And then, you know, it has like red bead feet. And this one is your handle. Your drawer pull. So I made four mini albums. And again, we're using the Doodle Pop. So, so cute. Look how fun. And then super itty bitty clip. I've never made this tiny of a rosette. They're so, so cute though. And then there's more pages. I don't have any more stickers to decorate them. My favorite is the mini icon stickers and I don't have them anymore. And look how cute. Again, using the doodle pops. So fabulous when you have the doodle pops. So cute. Look at that. More pages. And this is, I use the 6x6. Six six. Again. We're using our doodle pops. They're absolutely super cute. It makes it extra fun when you have the doodle pops as front and center. And this page are the same. And then next is this one. This one I didn't use a doodle pop. I didn't have any more. But I just popped it up with some foam tape, the icon stickers. And of course, we used our puffy stickers as, look at that, so cute. All the, all the markers for the books are puffy stickers. The puffy stickers are absolutely adorable. Isn't that so pretty? So this all belongs in there. I think I did a good job, like, making use of all the paper. So cute, and then you saw that paper clip right there in the middle. So all of these, and then the last one, this is what I made last night. Um, this one, I just saw, I saw an Argyle bag in Pinterest, and I like the design of it. And then, so, it's like a school, school girl kind of bag. The, this is my prototype. 
so I need to improve it but anyway so that's what it looks like I thought that this was this was the last sticker that I had in the mini the icon stickers so I just popped it up and then in the back were some pockets there's nothing inside it and then this is how you open it It has a lot of space. It's not very aligned. I was like distracted when I made this. But I think it's still okay. It can be improved. But again, this is a prototype. So you can make mistakes on your prototype. Anyway, so that's essentially it. This came from the same paper. This is the 6x12. This is the 6x12. And then the other part is this is a 6x12 as well. So that's what I use. One six by twelve, and this is the two sheets of paper that is left. So that is all I created from the Over the Rainbow collection. I hope you like it. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. I would love, love, love to know. Um, if you don't mind letting me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much, and have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys.